Okay, fight fans, brace yourself for a gross off between cockroaches and bed bugs. Which team is the most skin crawling? Will the bed bugs bleed the roaches dry? Or will the cockroaches outlast the competition? It's roaches versus bed bugs tonight on Versus. Tonight's battleground is one you should know like the back of your hand. It's your own home. The roaches may be the old timers in this competition, but the bed bugs are no spring chickens. Whose experience and tactics will reign supreme? In this corner are the bed bugs. These little blood suckers have been putting their bites on creatures for longer than beds have existed. They've been around for more than 100 million years. These parasites can be one to seven millimeters in length and have flat oval shaped bodies about the size of an apple seed. Their favorite meal, your blood and they can suck up to six times their weight. And in this corner are the mighty cockroaches. These nuisances have been around for more than 300 million years. That's even before the dinosaurs. And that makes them one of the oldest creatures on Earth. Yeah, they were around when Pangaea was the only continent on Earth. That's why they can be found on almost every part of the planet. <laughs> and the bedbugs thought they had been around a long time. And now these creepy crawlies are bringing everything they have and making your home a living nightmare. Which of these two insects can bug the best? Let the battle begin. Fight! The bed bugs get the first crack at you, but the irony is that you brought them into your home. They enter your house on items like luggage, boxes, and shoes. And once they're inside, it's your warmth and the carbon dioxide you breathe out that attracts the bed bugs. And they're off, racing to your bed at a blistering one meter per minute. Uh. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes. L let's jump ahead. The first bed bug crawls onto your body, stabs you with its beak, and begins feeding. But you don't feel a thing. It feeds on you for three to ten minutes. After it's full, it will retire to somewhere nearby, probably within the bed, to be close for its next feeding in two nights. A red, swollen, and itchy welt will appear on your skin in a few days. It shouldn't be too bad, unless the bug came with friends. Unlike other blood-sucking pests, these little critters don't spread disease through their bites. But once you realize what bit you, you could be paranoid about getting attacked every time you go to bed. Now it's the cockroach's turn. Roaches are attracted to any food source, but are suckers for sugar. They'll also eat cardboard, shoe soles, and even a sleeping baby's fingernails. Ah, ugh. Unlike the bed bugs, these insects move fast and they can fly. They can produce about 400,000 offspring in one year, so they'll multiply quickly. And the larger the colony, the faster they'll run out of food. And when that happens, the roaches may decide to give you a taste. But the real danger comes from the diseases they can spread. How can you get rid of these pests? Well, bed bugs aren't easy to find, but when you do, you can crush them easily. Roaches don't care if you know they're there. 
It'll be easy to find them, but it'll be harder for you to kill them because of their strong exoskeletons. And roaches can regenerate their limbs. Both bugs are resistant to pesticides, but you can kill bed bugs using heat. Wash infested sheets in hot water. To get rid of a bed bug infestation, you'll need professionals to fumigate your home. That's going to cost you $2,000 to $3,000. Using a mixture of pesticides may kill the cockroaches, but they build resistance to pesticides very quickly and will reinfest your home soon afterward. So, which pest wins the battle of the bugs? It's evolution's perfect survivor that reigns supreme. The roach takes the crown! The cockroach's ability to resist attacks and spread disease helps them to win the title. Now, although both bugs multiply quickly, roaches can take over an entire house within months. But it doesn't matter who wins. Either way, you lose. For more bug action, we'll find out who comes out on top when Tarantula takes on Scorpion on the next round of Versus.